Am I a hero? I really can't say, but yes. From David Wallace to all Dunder Mifflin. Woohoo! Shout out! Hello everyone, I'm sure you've seen the item in the journal. Just want to stress it's all conjecture. It is rumored that they will recommend declaring bankruptcy? What? No, no, that doesn't make any sense. Oh lord, we're all gonna lose our jobs. Oh also, god. What? Oh my god. What? What is, what is, what is, what is it? What happened? What? Is there on? news? There has been a murder. What? A murder? What? There's been a murder in Savannah. <laughs> Games have the power to distract people from stressful situations. Battleship got me through my parents' divorce. Operation got me through my vasectomy, i.e. my operation. I don't think I would have been able to endure my breakup with Holly had it not been for Toss Across. Bells, Bourbon, and Bullets, a murder mystery dinner party game. It is so much fun. Everybody plays a character. We go around the room. We try to figure out who did it. Hey, I'm wondering if this is a um, terrible idea. This is my call, Jim. Big picture stuff. It's about murder. OK, I'm just going to skip right past the what and go with why. Because this is the recreation of a crime scene. I'm the dead body, and these are my brain chunks. Hey, shut up. You're dead. Michael, can I talk to you in no your office? No, Michael, here, my Caleb. name is... Today, of all no, days... No, you shut up! They need this game, Jim. Let us have this stupid little game, all right? I think today was a good day to have two managers. Because if you're a family stuck on a lifeboat in the middle of the ocean, one parent might want to just keep rowing. But if the other parent wants to play a game, it's not because they're crazy. It's because they're doing it for the kids. Jim, we need to order a cake for Creed's birthday. Oh, wasn't it just someone's birthday? Yes. Kelly's was last week, remember? I do remember, yeah. It's birthday month. Creed's is today. Oscar's is week after next. Meredith's is at the end of the month. Michael usually goes with red and white you know streamers what? for- I have an idea. Why don't we just do one big shared party? What? There are 13 people working in this office, so 13 times a year, Michael gets a cake and balloons and some sort of joke gift and makes a toast. And there are two types of toasts. One is a joke about how old you are. Look at those wrinkles. Blacks do crack, not crack the drug. And the other is something inappropriate, or horrible, <laughs> or both. What else? He only sings the high harmony to happy birthday. And he is a very big believer in surprise parties. Maybe even, arguably, possibly to a fault. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> happy birthday! <laughs> so I think, yeah, I think getting these out of the way might be productive. We can just have one big fun party and everybody's happy and nobody wastes their time. I don't like it. What is Jim thinking? It's a birthday, so what if there's a lot of them? Yeah, I work hard all day. I like knowing that there's going to be a break. Most days I just sit and wait for the break. I took an extra shot of insulin in preparation for this cake today. If I don't have some cake soon, I might die. Why don't you just have an apple? Why don't you mind your business? Listen, I figured this out. Jimmy had his birthday three weeks ago, so he doesn't mm. care. I think the power went to his head. Yeah, I think. Yeah. He hey, Jim. Hey, guys. What are we talking about? Nothing. Nothing going on. We're talking about nothing. Come on, gang. Hey, Jim. Toby. Hey, I just got the word on the communal birthdays. Oh, great idea. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. Is there anything My I can... My birthday was two months ago. Oh, okay. There was a party. What? Well, it, 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 there was, but Michael scheduled it for 4.58 on a Friday. You know, people sitting in the parking lot. Mm, I remember that. I don't know, I just thought maybe you could include me. Seriously? I just thought you could add me in. Uh, that is. Toby's great. He's great, but sometimes he can be a little bit much. I don't see no harm in that. 
Well, it's a cake, Toby, so <laughs> come on. Okay, yeah, you know what? We're just gonna throw you in, because the more the merrier, right? No, no way. I am not a machine, Jim. You can't just change plans willy-nilly and expect these little magic party elves to do your bidding. We already have devil's food, peach cobbler, fudgy the whale, mushroom caps. I'm like, allergic like... to mushrooms. That's a bummer. Okay, then we need to. Hey, everybody. Hi, how you doing? Could I have your attention, please? Because we have to talk about this birthday thing. Conference room? Yes, conference room, five minutes. Mm, no, no. We're gonna solve it right here. We're gonna actually talk about it out here. So who has problems with the birthday thing? One, two, three, everybody. Okay, so then we just shouldn't do it. What am I supposed to do with two cakes and a pie? Oh, I'll take them. Well, nobody's touching my cobbler. Hey, Michael, I mean, Jim. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Creed. around the room. Skip around the room. We won't, okay, all right. Yeah, don't do that. You're gonna break something. Sure glad you're back. You are relieved. You have no idea. So what did I miss? Well, I tried to put all the birthdays together at once. Oh, so terrible yeah. idea. Yeah, okay, I did that. Rookie mistake. You did do it? Uh-huh, no. Let's wait. 10 years, they'll figure it out. I don't think I'll be here in 10 years, but... That's what I said. That's what she said. That's what who said? I never know. <laughs> I just say it. I say stuff like that, you know, to lighten the tension when things sort of get hard. That's what she said. <laughs> hey! Nice. Really good. Bravo, my young ward. To Oscar Martinez, it's the Show Me the Money Award. Michael has taped every yeah. Dundee's awards. And now he's making me look through hours of footage to find highlights. A little bit of Pam all night long. A little bit of Angela on the thing. A little oh, bit yeah. of Phyllis This is the part where Kevin sat in front of the camcorder all night. The Dundee Award for longest engagement goes to Pam Beasley. <laughs> Pam, everybody! <laughs> you! When is that girl gonna get married? That's what I have to say. Ah, Roy's accepting. Yes. Thank you. Are there any words you'd like to say on Pam's behalf? Uh, we'll see you next year. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> hope not! Hope not! I'm not changing that. That's the best one. No, it's hilarious. You're right. I just think, um, world's longest engagement, um, we're all expecting it, you know? That's why it's funny. Every year that Roy and Pam don't get married, it gets funnier. Well, I think if you use the same jokes, it just comes across as lazy. Oh, lazy. Uh-huh. And this next award is going out to our own little Pam Beasley. I think we all know what award Pam is going to be getting this year. It is the Whitest Sneakers Award because she always has the whitest tennis shoes on. because yes. I couldn't have done it without them. Thank you. Let's give Michael a round of applause for emceeing tonight because this is a lot harder than it looks. And also because of Dwight, too. Um, so finally, I want to thank God because God gave me this Dundee. And I feel God in this Chili's tonight. What's this presentation all about? Ah, see, this is of general interest. It is about priorities. 
and making decisions, using the boat as an analogy. What is important to you? If the boat is sinking, what do you save? Women and children. No, no. Salesmen and profit centers. That's a stupid analogy. Oh, okay. Well, obviously, you don't know anything about leadership. Well, I was the captain of a PC-1 Cyclone Coastal Patrol boat during Desert Storm. Wow. You should be the motivational speaker. Him? Oh, okay. Yeah. He gives me real responsibility, Michael. Captain Jack delegates. He's let me steer the ship for the last hour. I'd like to be engaged. How did you manage to pull that off? <laughs> um, uh, I've been engaged for three years, and there's no end in sight. So you don't want to ask my advice. Suppose your office building's on fire. Jim, who would you save? Uh, let's see. Uh, the customer. Because the customer's king. Not what I was looking for, but a good thought. You know what? I would save the receptionist. I just wanted to clear that up. Hey, everybody. Um, can I get your attention for uh, just a second? Can you listen to me for a second? Um, we were up at the front and we were talking about what's really important. And Pam, um, I think enough is enough. I think we should set a date for our wedding. On uh, June 10th. Woo! Come on, let's do it. Somebody there? What happened to you? <sighs> Captain Jack has a problem with authority. Oh, right, because you announced that his ship was sinking. Yeah, he just totally lost it. If you ask me, he caused the panic. Modern night. Well, it's nice for you. Your friend got engaged. She was always engaged. Roy said the first one didn't count. That's great. And to tell you the truth, I used to have a big thing for Pam, so. Really? You're kidding me. You and Pam? Wow. I would have never put you two together. You really hit it well. God. I usually have a radar for stuff like that. <sighs> you know, I made out with Jan. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Pam is cute. Yeah. She's really funny. And she's warm, and she's just, anyway. Well, if you like her so much, uh, don't give up. She's engaged. <laughs> BFD, engaged ain't married. Huh. Never, ever, ever give up. Excuse me, everyone. Sex! Now that I have your attention. You don't have our attention. Money! I'm listening. You had me at sex. Pervert. You have all of our attention just by screaming anything. That's good to know. What do you want to say, Michael? Woof! All right, I've warmed them up for you. You have the floor, Ryan. How's everybody doing? Woo! Good. Now, a lot of you have already staked out your corner of the Wolf Empire. Raise your hand if I'm describing you. Great. For my current investors, things are going great. We already have a buyer. Really? Who? Washington University. Is there any particular branch of Washington University? The Washington University Public Health Fund. W-U-P-H-F. Oh, God. They only want it for the initials. The domain name, yeah, they do. I move, we sell. What? Yeah. Sell. 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 Get us out sell. of there. Have some faith in this idea. If everybody wants to sell, we sell, right? I won't sell. And you know what? Ryan and I have the majority of shares. Isn't that right? Yes, you alone do, actually. I, yes. We're not selling. I will not sell. There are a lot of other people in this office who have money at stake. Other people you care about. You may be right. I may be crazy. Don't. I'm just saying that I think I agree with your point. Yeah, but in a jokey way where you're gonna start singing. I thought it might make me feel better. Okay, go ahead. 
But I just may be a lunatic. No. You have nine days to save everybody's money. Oh, uh, that's a lot of pressure. I, I'm going to need some more time. You can't have it. OK. I won't let you down. The world sends people your way. Ryan came to me through a temp agency. Andy was transferred here. No idea where Creed came from. The point is, you just have to play with the cards that you're dealt. Jim, that guy is an ace. Dwight is my king on my sleeve. Phyllis is my old maid. Oscar is my queen. That's easy. Give me a hard one. That's what Oscar said. Toby is the instruction card you throw away. Pam is a solid seven. And yeah, you know what? Ryan is probably like a two. But sometimes twos can be wild. So watch out. And I am obviously the joker. So. That's uh. Ruth from Ryan Howard. Decided to sell company. Thanks, bro. Hell of a ride. Thank God. Oh, you should come to my art show, by the way. Oh, art show. I mean, it's not a big deal, but I think a lot of people from the office are going to be there. Oh, yeah, definitely I'll be there, for sure. Hey, babe, how are you? Good. Oh, I brought my brother, huh? Hey, Kenny. Hey, Pam. Hey, uh, how about this, huh? I showed with my brother and... No one from work is here? That's pretty cool, huh? You're the one who said we needed more culture. This is culture to you? It's her first try. Yeah, on Van Gogh's first try, he drew the hands of the peasants. Meaning what? Meaning real art takes courage, OK, and, and honesty. Well, those aren't Pam's strong points. Yeah, exactly. That's why this is motel art. Thanks for coming. Pam Caso. Sorry I'm late. I had to race across town. Oh, Michael. Wow. You did these freehand? Yep. My god, these could be tracings. Oh, look at this one. Wow, you nailed it. How much? What do you mean? I don't see a uh, price. Um, you want to buy it? Well, yeah. Yeah, we have to have it for the office. I mean, there's my window and there's my car. Is that your car? Uh-huh. <sighs> that is our building. And we sell paper. I'm really proud of you. have something in your pocket? Chunky. Do I have? No, thank you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Um, I don't know how to tell you this, but we have a little bit of a problem. No, what? The minister just told me that it's tradition for the bestish mensch to be older than the groom. Oh, come on. I've never heard of such a I thing. I haven't heard of it, obviously. But I'm out because I'm significantly younger than you. Not significant as a big well, word. I think, I think you're... Well, okay. Either way. Either team. way. Dwight, I can't be there for you. I'm sorry. Jim.
I just really wish there was something I could do. That's what she said. <laughs> Best prank ever. <laughs>